Don't touch my wife. Wills throws fatal blow at Meg as humiliated Kate over bridesmaid dress fitting. New claims over a reported row between Meghan Markle and Kate, the Princess of Wales, have surfaced after the publication of Valentine Lowe's new book Courtiers, The Hidden Power Behind the Crown. The Duchess reportedly insisted that the palace issued a statement about a story in the press that suggested Kate cried in an incident about a bridesmaid dress fitting, before Prince Harry and Meghan's departure from the UK. A new extract from Mr. Lowe's book quotes Meghan saying during her interview with Oprah in 2021 that she cried over a rift with Kate. The author claims Meghan reversed the story in her favor and the palace simply didn't want to take sides. Mr. Lowe claims that unlike what was stated in the interview, Meghan was the one who cried during the incident. The book extract reads, I'm not going to go through every example in the interview of statements that are untrue, or misleading such as her claim that they actually got married three days before their wedding. It's instructive, however, to look at one of Meghan's central claims, that the palace was not doing enough to stand up for her. She told Oprah, not only was I not being protected. They were willing to lie to protect other members of the family, but they weren't willing to tell the truth to protect me and my husband. The overriding issue that concerned her was a newspaper story about Kate crying after a bridesmaid's dress fitting for Princess Charlotte that took place before the wedding. The narrative with Kate, which didn't happen, was really, really difficult, Meghan told Oprah. I think that's when everything changed, really. The truth is that, after the dress fitting, Meghan had become obsessed with trying to persuade the palace press office to put something out denying the story. However, they were equally adamant that it would be a serious mistake to start briefing about personal stories relating to differences between members of the royal family. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex established a new life for themselves after stepping down as senior working royals. The couple's departure, when they stepped down from royal duties and stopped using their HRH styles, made headlines around the world in 2020. Harry and Meghan, parents to Archie and Lily have taken part in a number of interviews since their departure from royal life, including a bombshell sit-down with U.S. talk show host Oprah Winfrey in 2021. In an interview with True Royalty TV's The Royal Beat, royal expert Katie Nichol explained that Meghan's working style was pretty intense. I don't think the fact that, Meghan, sent early morning emails was actually a huge issue because, the king, will send late-night emails as well, Nichol said, for the mirror. But my understanding from the people that I spoke to, many of whom did work for the Sussexes, was that Meghan in particular, would, want everything done now. Unfortunately, that's just not how things work in the royal world, and, according to Nicol, that resulted in those aforementioned clashes between Meghan and others in the palace and royal family. She expected an immediacy that went with those dawn emails so that she'd hatch an idea, want it executed by the next day and didn't quite get that the palace worked at a different pace, Nicol added. I think there were culture clashes, there were personality clashes, but I think ultimately, Meghan did want to be Queen B. Nicol's decision to weigh in on Meghan's alleged royal Queen Bee aspirations comes on the heels of claims that Meghan also wanted to be the Queen Bay of her new home, 